So welcome students. So in this question you given that this line 2bx plus 3cy plus 4d is equal to 0 passes through the point of intersection of y square is equal to 4ax and x square is equal to 4ay. If that is so, which of these options are right? So we know that y square is equal to 4x is a horizontal parabola and x square is equal to 4ay is a vertical parabola. Now one point of intersection is obviously 0 comma 0, both of them have vertex as 0 comma 0 and this line passes through both the point of intersections. So that means this line is nothing but this line. Now if I find this point, I can find the equation of this line and equate it to this line. So now what is the, how do I find the point of intersection? So y square is equal to 4ax. And from the second equation, y is equal to x square by 4a. This implies x square by 4a whole square is equal to 4ax. This implies x power 4 is equal to 4a whole square, 16a square into 4a, 64a cube x. So, 1x gets cancelled. That is, x is equal to 0 is a solution. And the second solution is x cube is equal to 64a cube or x is equal to 4a. So for one point of intersection x is equal to 0 hence y is equal to 0. For the second point of intersection x is equal to 4a and if x is equal to 4a y is also equal to 4a. So that will be the point of intersection. Now obviously what is this line? This line is y is equal to mx. Slope is 1 so y is equal to x. So that is the line of intersection y is equal to x. So this should be exactly same as this line. So the actual line is x minus y is equal to 0. The line that is given is 2bx plus 3cy plus 4d is equal to 0. So obviously b has to be equal to 0 because there is no constant. And the second, so 2b by 1 is equal to 3c by minus 1 and that implies 2b plus 3c is equal to 0. So minus 2b is equal to 3c, so 2b plus 3c is equal to 0. So d is equal to 0 is one condition and 2b plus 3c is equal to 0 is another condition. These two have to be 0. So what is the effective condition? d square plus 2b plus 3c whole square is equal to 0. So if this square plus this square is equal to 0, then d has to be equal to 0 and 2b plus 3c should also be equal to 0. So the first option is the right option. Thank you.